Hey guys, welcome back to Elite Barbecue Smokers. I'm Michelle. And I'm Jason. And we're back today with another dessert recipe. Today we're making Reese Cup Monkey Bread. And it looks really good. So let's get it prepping so we can get it cooking. Come on. All right, so we just have a few simple ingredients. This is fast, easy. You can do it in the oven as well as on the grill. Um, we got a cast iron pan. We're just gonna spray that with some olive oil or whatever non-stick spray that you have. We've got two cans of biscuits and we've got greasy minis. We just got some brand biscuits here. This is the butter taste we got from the grocery store here. Boom. <laughs> Caught me off guard about you. <laughs> That's why I hate opening those biscuits. So we're just gonna cut the biscuits in half and then put two Reese cups inside of it and fold it up and roll it into a ball and then we're gonna put it in the cast iron pan. Like I said, take them right here, double them up, put them in the center and just kind of pinch it over. That's all we're looking for right here. Once you do that, now you're gonna just take your hands and roll them together. What it's gonna do is to prevent it from leaking out so much and kind of give it double the flavor. So what she's doing right now is how they them in there, I them in tight. She wants them to be not tight, so she's pulling them out to kind of give a multi-layer situation. Well, I feel like they're going to expand a little bit, so they don't need to be so tight. All right, so we've got them all rolled up. We've got them how we want them arranged in the pan, and then we've got a glaze we're going to pour over them and then cook them in the rectech. So the glaze that we're going to pour over the top of this before we cook it is a half a cup of butter melted with a half a cup of brown sugar. So as you see, we've got the glaze on top of it. Now I'll put this on a rectech 1250. We're cooking at 350 degrees. All right, so we just took these off the smoker. They were on there for about 30 minutes to 35 minutes. What we're looking for, we got the biscuits on top, nice and going brown, and the bottom is still cooked. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this, put it on cutting board here and flip it over. And that way we have the bottom side will be exposed. And you can do this on a plate, um, whatever kind of serving dish you wanna do, we're just gonna do this. And this does have little grooves here. So if there's any juice, hopefully that'll catch it. I say a prayer. <laughs> We just flipped it over. As you can see, it looks really good. Now we're gonna have a glaze on top of this now to kind of give it that really more flavor to it. So tell us about the glaze we'll put. So we got um, a glaze of a half a cup of peanut butter, around two cups of powdered sugar, and then added some milk just to make it the consistency that we wanted it. So now we're gonna taste it. Y'all ready? I'm ready. All right, just dig in, grab a piece, and let's go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> That's good. Would you make this again? Mm-hmm. That's delicious, y'all. That's really good. Mm -mm -mm. It's cooked perfect. The glaze is really nice. Just delicious on the inside. That's addictive right there. That's really good. Very simple, easy recipe. But I got a little piece right here with no chocolate in it, but it's got the peanut butter. I'm gonna let Miss Dolly try it. You ready? Come on. Oh, she's been waiting. Come this. on. <laughs> she's been drooling. <laughs> Dolly likes it. If Dolly likes it, you will too. Now let's say the blessing. Let's eat some dessert. Lord bless food by the sea. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Check this recipe out, y'all. It is really, truly that good. Look at this. Look at that. That's perfectly cooked. And you can make it outside on the grill, like at a camp. If you were camping out, this is a super easy thing to make on your on your grill that you have at the campground. Or in the oven. Or in the oven, if you're at home. It's, either way, it's perfectly, it's great. And you can also do it, you don't have to do it in cast iron. You can do it in, a lot of people do it in a bunt pan and then it comes out like looking kind of like a cake with a hole in the middle. Um, that way it would be great too, but it's pretty fail-proof. Fail 